Yo, what's up everybody? This is Unpunk bringing you a quick little Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind DLC video here today. So, something that I've just recently figured out about the premium menu or the black and white codes, the ones that make it easier and more difficult, is there's a few different things that can go along with them. So when you start a new game, you now have the option to activate either the black or the white menu in addition to having no premium menus on. So that's something you'll be able to do when you start a new game, which is cool. And then also something to note is if you are loading into a save file, you have a couple of options if you've beaten all of the battles and the secret boss fight, is you can select a slot like normal so you can pick your playthrough and then you can also use Square to continue from where you were. So you can either continue a DLC episode, which in my case was when I was at the data battles, or I can continue the main story and load right back into the end game of Kingdom Hearts 3 so I can explore all of my worlds. Now there's a good reason to do this after you've beaten all the data organization and you've unlocked the premium menu, because it's gonna make it much, much easier to do the trophies that are require the requiring of the premium menu. So now you can see I load into the premium menu and I can activate either pro codes or easy codes, which are black and white. They just changed the name here. And you can go ahead and see all of the merits. So you can go ahead and complete all of your different merits and get the two trophies that are required of the premium menu. So if you go to trophies here, all rounder is earn all easy code merits and risk takers reach the highest pro code merit rank. I'll bring you guys a video on those two at a later point here once we get a good strategy on how to do them. I'll also be doing them live with you guys on the stream tomorrow, the 24th in the afternoon around 4 p.m. So make sure you guys are ready for that one. It's going to be really fun to get to knock these two out and figure out some nice strategies for how to do these easy so that when you guys get around to it once you complete all of your battles you can go ahead and easily knock out these last two trophies to keep that 100 percent platinum for kingdom hearts 3 i hope you guys enjoyed today's video hope it helped you guys out i know the menus and the options are very weird with remind it is very very strange so it is really nice to have something that allows you to easily transfer between each point of the game. I wish that the organization data battles were not something you had to go a separate menu into. I wish it was part of the worlds, like they just added Radiant Garden, but it is what it is and it's what we got. So we're gonna rock it out the best we can. Again, make sure you guys are subscribed if you guys like the content because we do a lot of Kingdom Hearts Three content, a lot of Kingdom Hearts content will be coming up over the next year with new games, potentially new updates and DLC for Kingdom Hearts 3 down the line. So make sure you guys are ready for all that. Hit a like if you guys enjoyed the video. And other than that, we'll catch you guys real soon. Peace.